Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40k battle report for you today. 2,000 points, Death Guard versus Thousand Sons. Armin will be leading his men to war against the Demon Prince of the Death Guard forces. They will be fighting in this mission in pitched battle deployment. So the Thousand Sons will be on this side. The Death Guard will be on the opposite side. And we are playing Supply Drop from the uh, 2017 chapter approved. So we have six objectives. At the end of the third turn, there will only be two remaining and that'll be what we're fighting over we have one here in the trench one by the vehicle back there one here in the center another over here behind the uh, Prometheum tank another here on the firestorm readout and another here in the corner uh, so lots of opportunity for these to be anywhere on the table uh, we will be right back with the armies First up, we have the forces of the Death Guard organized into a battalion today. They're being led by their demon prince, Overlord, who has a demonic axe. For psychic powers, he took uh, Miasma of Pestilence, and he has the Suppurating Plate uh, for a relic. Um, we also have a Malignant Plague Caster in the HQ slot. And then in the Elites, we have a Plague Surgeon with Fugaris' Helm to give him a little better range on his Plague Surgeon capabilities. Troop slot, we have seven squads of, or four squads of seven Death Guard Marines. Uh, two squads have three plasma guns each. Two squad, or two plasma guns each. We had to cut the champions. Um, and then the other two squads have two blight launchers each. Um, we have two rhinos for two of those squads to be riding in at some point. And then we also have two fetid bloat drones to support them with plague spitters. We have a hellbrute with a twin laz and a heavy flamer with a hellbrute fist. Um, he's going to be offering some long-range fire support, and joining him in that task will be the Mephitic Blight Haulers. Um, so that is the Death Guard contribution to the battle. We will be right back with the Thousand Sons. Alright, so the Thousand Sons are organized into a battalion. Our warlord will be Armin on a disc. And uh, he has two exalted sorcerers backing him up, one of which is uh, wearing the Helm of the Third Eye. Then in the troop slot, I have uh, three squads of ten rubrics. For my elites, I have two identical squads of five Scarab Occult Terminators with a Hellfire Missile Rack. Then for my fast attacks, I have a squad of five Chaos Spawn. And rounding out the list in the heavy supports, I have a pair of Forge Fiends with Hades Auto Cannons and Demon Jaws. All right, you have seen the armies and you have seen the table. We will be back as we get stuck into the maelstrom. All right, we are deployed. The Thousand Suns finished up first. Josh, walk us down what you did. We set our rubric wall up to uh, hopefully step into range and punish the, the Death Guard with a uh, bolter fire that they cannot stand up in front of considering how much of it there is. Uh, we intermixed the two squads of Terminators in the lines with the three squads of rubrics set our characters up on the back line so that we could get our prescience and our warp times and all of our support powers off without any fear of getting drummed out by some sneak attack and uh, the forge fiends on the baseline in the back. All right, now coming over to the death guard side, uh, we set up an empty rhino on either flank. That way if an objective pops up in a weird place, we do have a set of wheels to get us where we need to go. We have the demon engines, the fast ones anyway, on the flank with the demon prince. Arch Corruptor has come in handy before. We're going to try to keep him nearby for rerolls on wounds. And then we have a massive wall of green power armor. We have all four squads set up here among the rocks. Uh, the plasma squads are in the lead with the blight launchers behind them. We also have the mephitic blight haulers in position to give them a hand and give them cover. Um, and then we have the Hellbrute positioned over here, trying to play a uh, line of sight game and stay out of sight unless the Hades autocannons move to target him. All right, so that's initial setup. Everything's deployed. Nothing is held it back. Uh, Thousand Suns do get plus one because they finished first. And with a three, they've got a four. So I'm going to need a five to beat it. A three. We'll give it to the Thousand Suns. They have the first turn unless they choose to seat it. I assume you're going first. Thousand Suns are going first. We will be back following their initial volume. Thousand Suns, turn one. So we advanced our rubric line uh, using as much of the uh, 
line of sight break up in the cover that we could and uh, didn't really have range for a whole lot of our offensive psychic powers so we kind of held off on a lot of those. We did uh, attempt to cast Glamour on the squad that's in the, the open cut in the center of our line. We failed it, didn't feel like it was worth a reroll so I just let it, let it stay dead. We cast Warp Time on this squad of Terminator so that we could get some uh, line of sight over the top of the shipping containers into the drone down there on the end. And we did manage to knock two wounds out of it with one of our Hellfire missile racks. And then we cast Weaver of Fates from that squad sergeant on his own squads since they are visible between the crates so that they'd have a little more protection from incoming fire. We moved both of our Forge Fiends to the left so that they could draw a line of sight on the Hellbrute behind them. The Forge Fiend on my left took a Demon Forge Stratagem, promptly rolled uh, five hits and five wounds, and he failed uh, three saves and left him with two points. And then the second one uh, rolled three hits and two wounds, and he failed one of them, and then Command re-rolled it and broke my heart when he rolled a four plus. Yes, Hellbrute survives being shot at for the first time ever. All right, so that was it, right? Yep. All right, going into Death Guard, turn one. Death Guard, turn one is in the books. We're ready to launch one assault. Um, we went ahead and moved everything up to try to get a little more central to the table. Um, psychic phase, all we did was cast Miasma of Pestilence onto the uh, Hellbrute to try to keep him in the fight with his two wounds. Um, in the middle here, uh, we went ahead and fired these plasma guns to the rubrics around the corner here. We're able to cut two of them down. We also uh, overcharged the squad in the middle, fired with Vets of the Long War to try to punk some spawn, but only managed three wounds total. However, one of the spawn was vaporized by the two multi melters that had a uh, line of sight from the three uh, Mephitic Blight Haulers. Uh, their missile launchers coupled with the LAS cannons on the brute to bring this uh, Forge Fiend down to four points, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, four points left. Over here, we advanced and fired our blight launchers and uh, one of our drones that was able to get range here, we were able to cut down, I think, a single pl uh, Thousand Sun, not much damage done there, maybe two, two? Yeah, two, never mind, two. Um, that was about it as far as damage. Uh, we did launch an assault with this lead drone. Uh, on Overwatch, the Thousand Suns hit him four times, wounded him twice, felled both of the involves and rolled two sixes and made both of the disgustingly resilient, and then rolled a seven. So he is going to be locking them. We will be back after the results of that combat. Well, that did not go to plan. Uh, we moved the drone in. Uh, he charged the rubrics and used his additional three-inch pile to get into base and lock up the spawn as well. And the spawn promptly killed him. Uh, not the result that I was expecting. Uh, took eight wounds, uh, or took four wounds, felled all of the involves, felled all but one of the eight uh, fill no pains, and then the rubrics, not even the sorcerer, just their basic dude punched him and killed him. Uh, not what I was expecting, but we did play a putrid detonation to go ahead and get a little bit of spot out considering he didn't do anything with his attacks. Um, so he did wound the sorcerer, one of the terminators, finish the spawn that was at one wound, and kill one of the rubrics. Not the end result I was hoping for, but you get greedy and you pay the price sometimes. Uh, Should have probably just tried to lock the rubrics, but it is what it is. Uh, that is it for the Death Guard. Uh, unfortunately, gave up first blood there, so the Thousand Suns are in the lead 1-0 to zero right now. Uh, we will be back after they finish their second turn. All right, Josh, walk us down the zany antics that were turn two. All right, let's start with the good stuff. So we uh, cast a couple of psychic powers, got a couple of... Uh, uh, good ones off. We were a fates on the Terminators and Prescience on one of the Forge Fiends, and then I took a Demon Forge. And between the 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 Demon Forge on the Forge Fiend and a couple other units, we downed the drone outright. Just splashed him. It was kind of ridiculous. Some of the damage that got through. Uh, now the bad stuff. So uh, we were trying for uh, to weaken the drone by using up our smites in the best way we could, since the drone was the closest thing. And uh, my squad three here blew his own head off with uh, Perils of the Warp, killed three of his own squad mates, wounded both of the Exalted Sorcerers, knocked uh, two wounds out of this one, knocked a wound out of this Forge Fiend, uh, <laughs> killed a Rubric. Wounded a Terminator. Uh, just 
all around ridiculousness. Yeah, silly, oh, silly shenanigans. All right, so uh, let's see. Oh, also uh, took, took a couple of dudes down here with the Terminators. Um, I think that was about it though, right? So not much going on there. Turn two for the Death Guard, minus their drones as early as they ever have been. Uh, but we got turn two coming up. Death Guard turn two is finished. We will not have an assault phase this turn. Um, everything continued its advance, trying to get positioned to respond to where the supplies drop. Uh, we went ahead and moved all of our squads up, keeping them as clustered on the Mephitic Blight Haulers as possible. Demon Prince flew up to the gantry way to keep everybody organized. Um, and then we unleashed our fire. Uh, the psychic phase did not do anything. We passed all three, but the Thousand Suns said that that was their domain and they shut that down 100%. Nobody did anything. Um, however, over here, we were able to get a lot done in the shooting phase. Uh, the plasma squads overheated and rapid fired on the Terminators. Uh, combined with one of the blight launcher squads, they just toasted the whole squad down. Um, and then the rubrics over here, ate basically everything else, leaving three of them alive with uh, six casualties. Uh, we did attempt a charge on them with the rhino, but we were unable to make it. Um, the Forge Fiend was also destroyed by a multi melter from the Blight Haulers. When he exploded, he killed Goro, uh, the four armed sorcerer we had, had there in front of it. Um, but the, and the other one took one wound. He did use a command reroll to try to keep his second sorcerer in the fight and rolled a three again and lost him. So many mortal wounds sprang around there in the back. Um, also, two of these rubrics were cut down by fire, uh, the other multi melters that did not have range. Uh, and the Hellbrute moved up to get a shot on the uh, Forge Fiend, but he did not have a target after it was destroyed. Um, so that is it uh, for the Death Guard. We have one morale check over here to make. Um, so we got three Marines left. They're at five plus. Three is an eight. They're good to go. All right, so uh, we are moving over into the Thousand Suns for turn three to identify our objectives, and we will be back. Thousand Suns, turn three. So we rolled to reveal objectives first, and uh, considering the long odds we've got to secure open ground, uh, we took the three that were furthest away from us and hardest to, to achieve, and we rolled the one in the very far back of his center line. Yeah, of the three, probably the worst one. So this one has been erased, and the one up here in the trench has been erased. So this is one of the supply drops. Psychic powers, again, were very lackluster. Uh, we just can't seem to get anything going with that phase. Yep. Uh, we managed to cast Weaver of Fates on the six-man squad that no longer has a squad sorcerer. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, not a whole lot. I think we got maybe one guy with Smite. Yeah, you Smite, smite against this Rhino did too, and then the Prince stopped Arm and Smite. The um, three-man Rubric squad fired on one of the Plasma squads and managed to down one Marine. And uh, the bulk of the rest of the firepower of the army, the two rubric squads, the Terminators and the Forge Fiend fired on the other plasma squad and left two survivors. Yep. All right, and going into the assault phase, we have already rolled it out. The spawn have made it to the two plasma survivors here. And these three rubrics have charged in here to lock these gents up. Uh, so that is uh, assault phase coming up next. So, uh, Long gamble with the uh, spawn locking that many units up. We managed to kill the uh, plasma gun squad with our initial charge using a faded mutation to make sure we got rerolled a wound and we could reroll our attacks. Uh, we managed to kill those two marines. We locked the other plasma squad and the blight haulers, uh, but he had range to heroically intervene with his plague sorcerer. The sorcerer Killed one spawn, half killed another, and then uh, the marines took vets of the long war knocked two or three more wounds out of the squad, left the last spawn at one wound, and the blight haulers killed him. Yep, so they were just not able to hold on. think it was a good gamble in the long run, but that plague caster made all the difference. Um, so that is the end of Thousand Suns. We will be back with the Death Guard. Death Guard turn three rolls to an end. We diced for the other three objectives and Fortune was once again on the Death Guard side. Unfortunately for the Thousand Sons, the other one did drop in the backfield here. 
Um, we went ahead and moved the Hellbrood around the tower to contribute some fire and moved the Mephitic Blight Haulers forward. Um, they fired all of their combined heavy weapons here, um, but the uh, Forge Fiend did roll like a champ. He only lost five wounds in the process. Um, the Rubrics, however, did not fare so well. Um, Psychic Phase, uh, Curse the Leper off of the uh, Plague Caster, we rolled an 11. Um, and anybody who is a fan of the channel and has watched knows that that Plague Caster is annoying to face. He always rolls better than he should. Rolled an 11, uh, Armin could not stop it, and then rolled five five pluses on Curse of Leper and knocked five rubrics out of that six-man squad. Um, that put them farthest away from him in comparison to these guys. Um, so then he cast Smite and rolled another 11 and uh, eradicated the entire three-man squad. Um, some more fire came in here, bile spurts and bolters, um, along with black grenades. They were able to bring three guys down out of the other six-man squad. And uh, three of the Terminators were cut down by overheated plasma from the squad there in the middle. Uh, Rhino moved up the flank, fired his combi bolters here, and poked a hole in the Sorcerer. Um, so rough turn there for the Thousand Suns. Lots of casualties that they really did not need at this point. Um, we got a couple of charges to launch, and then we will be back. Combat has ended, and the Thousand Suns are going to punch the clock in, call it a day right there. Uh, we went ahead and locked with the Mephitic Blight Haulers and the Marines and were able, through some unfortunate saves on his part, to cut down all of the remaining rubrics. That basically just leaves Armin, a Sorcerer, a Forge Fiend, and a pair of Terminators. Uh, rough, rotten luck there on their saves there towards the end. The Thousand Suns just kind of disintegrated and fell apart. But Armin still stands. He has conjured a hole into the webway, and he will be back for another round soon. Um, that will be a Death Guard victory. We'll have after action review and army list at the blog as always. Be sure to give us a like on Facebook. That's the best way to see our new stuff as it comes out. And a subscription on YouTube is the most important metric. We have had tons of you do that lately. And to each and every one of you, we say thank you. As always, guys, thanks for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.